Shea Boxer Nation. <laughs> That boy can sell a fucking ticket. That's why he got cancer. That's why. Hell yeah, Corona. He got Corona symptoms. <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So there you heard Javante Tank Davis, who was doing an interview with Ellie Setback. Ellie asked him the question, what do you think about T.O. Fimo pulling out of the Cambosis fight? And you heard what he said. Now, you know what makes this whole situation so ironic? Is Triller actually dis Floyd Mayweather because he forced them to move their date in fear of competing with Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul in an exhibition bout. So this prompted Triller to diss Floyd Mayweather and put this image up, this meme of Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul. Now you see Leonard Ellerby, and this is where I say it's pretty ironic. Ellerby, he responds to Triller, and he said, while you guys running around making these dumbass memes about Floyd, you guys should focus on selling tickets to your concert. I mean, fight week is next week. Your ticket prices for the big pay-per-view event originally were $175 to $2,500. Now they are $40 to $400. Y'all effing with the wrong people. End quote. And a week later after Leonard Ellerby said this, Triller pulled the plug on the T.O. Fimo Cambosis pay-per-view fight and reports the T.O. Fimo has caught the coronavirus. Guys, I want you to just imagine this for a second. Imagine Triller actually pulling the plug because tickets are not selling. I mean, just remember, Triller, they spent $6 million to win the bid for this fight. Teofimo Lopez versus George Cambosas on pay-per-view. The week of the fight, turns out there's like five fights on the same day or the same weekend at least. You got the biggest press conference of the year the same week of this fight. And then on top of it, their original date was pushed because Floyd Mayweather took the date. And remember, T.O. Fimo, he predicted that this fight was going to do 2 million pay-per-view buys, right? So once again, imagine Triller contacting T.O. Fimo and saying, hey, T.O., we got some bad news. Tickets are not selling. We're going to have to pull the plug on this fight. So we're going to have to make a statement to the public and announce the cancellation. Anything you want to say in particular in the statement, T.O.? Do you guys think that T.O. Fimo would want to come out and would want Triller to come out and say, we're pulling the plug, we're canceling this fight because tickets aren't selling. Of course not, right? The best excuse in the world right now when it comes to boxing is to say that you caught the virus. I mean, that is a get out of jail free card. Once again, this is not to say that some fighters, you know, they really didn't have it. A lot of fighters did have it. But I'm just telling you, there's no better excuse than saying you caught the virus at all. And this is just not embarrassing to Teofimo Lopez. This is also embarrassing to Triller. Because once again, they were just clowning Floyd Mayweather a week before this happened. So do you think that Triller would have a problem lying about why they're pulling the plug? Absolutely not. There's no perjury in boxing. You're not going to go to jail for lying in boxing, right? So it makes all the sense in the world. I mean, even let's just say even if T.O. Fimo did have the coronavirus, it still would have been a good idea. For Trilla to tell Tio, well, it's a good thing you got it because guess what? We were going to pull the plug anyway because tickets weren't selling. We would be fools to have you on pay-per-view against George Cambosis 
with all these fights taking place, all these press conferences, or not all these press conferences, but the biggest press conference of the year going on, all of this stuff going on the same week that you're fighting Cambos is on pay-per-view. And, you know, I've also heard that when they drop the ticket prices, Triller, when they drop the ticket prices, according to sources, even those tickets weren't selling. And they didn't just drop the price a couple dollars. They didn't drop the price half. Man, they dropped them prices so low, they were damn near free tickets. And according to reports, they still weren't selling too well. So, you know, once again, Tio Fimo, he got the huge victory against Top Rank where he amended his contract. They're supposed to pay him more money for his fights. And Tio demanded that he basically only fights on pay-per-view because he wants to be a pay-per-view star. Now, he has to get past Cambosis to even get this deal, which is no guarantee, especially the way a lot of fights have been playing out this year. There's no guarantee. See, Tio, he creates a lot of problems for himself because he puts too much pressure on himself. You're raising the bar, and that often backfires on you. Now, it's completely understandable to raise the bar by going after the best competition. But when you're raising the bar by just creating all of these extreme projections, then you better be fighting the right opponents to get the numbers that you are projecting. And he starts predicting that he's going to do 2 million pay-per-view buys. When he forces Bob Arum to only put him in pay-per-view fights, then you better be ready to deliver because ain't nothing for free. I can tell you guys right now, if, and this is not Cambosa's fault that people don't really know him in the States, but I'm just telling you the facts. If Tio Fimo would have been fighting Devin Haney this past weekend on pay-per-view I can guarantee you the T.O. Fimo fight would have never gotten canceled because those tickets would have been selling like hotcakes. It would have been the biggest fight this weekend, hands down. It would be other people worried about the fact that they have to go up against Lopez versus Devin Haney because that's the fight that all the boxing fans want. So at the end of the day, Bob Arum, he gave Teofimo exactly what he wanted. He wanted to be on the big stage. He wants to only fight on pay-per-view. So they didn't gave it to you. Now the question is, what you going to do with it? That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Hello, my name is Dominic. Um, I just got my procedure done here at Scout Carolinas. Um, I was recommended by Dante's Boxing Nation, and uh, it's real. And um, here's, the, uh, here's the results. Uh, the brother out here, Brother Enoch, is real. And um, it's a very, very, very good recommendation. I recommend it. Um, four hours, you in, you out, and it's the rest of your life. So if anyone in the world wants this hookup, make sure you contact my man, Enoch, at 704-499-3471. And make sure to follow him on Instagram.